we want to use the integral test to determine if the following series converges or diverges. Let's begin by reviewing the integral test. If f of x is a positive decreasing and continuous function on the interval from one to infinity, such that f of n equals a sub n, then if this improper integral converges, then the infinite series converges, and if this improper integral diverges, then the infinite series also diverges. So going back to our example, notice the formula for the nth term is e raised to the power of negative two n, and therefore our function will be f of x equals e raised to the power of negative two x. Notice f of n would equal a sub n. Now for the next step, we want to make sure this function is positive, decreasing, and continuous. A quick easy way to do this would be to look at the graph of the function on the interval from one to infinity. Here's the graph of our function, and notice how it is positive, decreasing, and continuous on this interval. Now we'll determine if the integral from one to infinity of f of x, which is e raised to the power of negative two x integrated with respect to x, converges or diverges. If it converges, the series converges. If it diverges, the series diverges. Because we have an improper integral, let's write this as the limit as let's say b approaches infinity of the integral from one to b of e raised to the power of negative two x dx. Notice to find the antiderivative, we would have to perform u substitution where we'd have u equals negative two x and therefore differential u equals negative two dx. So if we solve this for dx, notice that negative one half du equals dx. Which means if we write this integral in terms of u, we would have the integral of e to the u, but then since dx equals negative one half to u, we'd have an extra factor of negative one half. So for the next step, when we find the antiderivative, we'll have the limit as b approaches infinity of, the antiderivative would be negative one half e to the u, which in our case would be negative one half e to the negative two x, and the interval is from one to b. Let's go ahead and factor out this negative one half and write this as negative one half times the limit as b approaches infinity of, to help us find this limit, let's write e to the power of negative two x as one over e to the power of two x. So now we have negative one half times the limit as b approaches infinity of, when x is equal to b, we have one over e raised to the power of two b minus one over e raised to the power of two times one, so we'd have e squared. We'll notice as b increases without bound, the denominator of this fraction also increases without bound, and therefore this approach is zero. So we would have negative one half times negative one over e squared, which is equal to positive one divided by, or one over two e squared. So because this integral is equal to a finite value, this means the improper integral converges, and therefore the infinite series converges by the integral test. So let's summarize our results. The integral from one to infinity of e raised to the power of negative two x with respect to x converges So by the integral test, our infinite series also converges. I hope you found this helpful.